Welcome back. A new study today found a chemical in kids' school uniforms that researchers call toxic. Yeah, and it's not a new chemical. It's been around for decades. But there is a bill sitting on Governor Gavin Newsom's desk right now that would limit the use of it. Political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now with what the chemical is. Morgan. It's called PFOS for short. Think stain resistant, like a tablecloth that if you pour wine on, it will slide right off. Researchers say the chemical that creates that stain resistant effect is dangerous and is persistent in school uniforms. University of Indiana researcher Dr. Marta Venier is the senior author of the study published Wednesday. We found that uh, total PFAS levels in school uniforms were significantly higher than in other items that we tested, such as uh, bibs, hats, uh, stroller covers, and swimsuits. PFAS is a forever chemical, meaning it never breaks down and builds up in nature. These are the negative health impacts researchers say the chemical is linked to. It doesn't mean if you have PFAS in your body, because we all do, that you're going to get all these kinds of health harm. But across our whole population, uh, PFAS has been found to, to be very harmful. Because these chemicals are found everywhere now, from our drinking water to goods, the Environmental Protection Agency says it's hard to study the risks and exact impact. But these doctors say there is a reason for concern. About a quarter of U.S. children wear uh, school uniforms. And when they do, they wear them for prolonged times, up to eight hours. So this information combined with uh, the high level of PFAS that we detected um, is a cause for uh, concern. The state already outlawed the sale, manufacturing and distribution of PFAS in all food packaging. Assemblymember Phil Ting authored another bill that's sitting on the governor's desk right now that would apply that to all textiles like clothing sold in California. Household names that are saying we understand the dangers of this product and we don't want our customers uh, touching them or really having contact with them. It really helps turn the table. Target pledged to remove all PFAS from their brand products by 2025. IKEA banned the chemical in all products back in 2016. Okay, so you're sitting at home and you want to know if PFAS is in your clothes or your children's uniform. Well, companies aren't required to put it anywhere on a label. Well, there's another bill sitting on the governor's desk that would require products to have that information. If you go to PFOSCentral.org, which is linked on the web article, though they do have a list of companies that sell products without that chemical. And if you don't want to do that, they said a good bare minimum rule of thumb is to avoid stain resistant products. Mm, Morgan, one of those stories that makes you go say, what? Are you mm -hmm. serious? Okay, I know a lot of people will be heading to our website to read more about this one. Thanks, Morgan.